Yeah, man, shit getting crazy. I remember it used to be a time where, like, people wouldn't go against Jay Prince or say anything or even respond and say nothing. But I think the internet made him a joke. You know, it was a time where he was just quiet and you felt like you better not say nothing about him. I like the thing Jay Prince has done and his legacy. Time's different now, man. So, yeah, check out the video. All right, go ahead. I got this one. You going to take all his fades and, and take all his shots and you handle everything out the ring? All right. So then we talking to you then, all right? <laughs> we starting with you. Since you the big homie, we starting with you. That's how it goes around here. Um, I, I want to just start off by saying you are so, like, lacking self-awareness. Like... When you when you give such a lackluster performance and then you think you can make threats to people because you gave a lackluster performance, pause. You don't have the right to tell me what I should like or to tell Cam what he should like. That's that's not your place. Like art is subjective. Right. So if art is subjective and I don't like something, you you can't really get mad at us because we don't like something. And you're standing there. With two, I mean, two Hall of Fame boxers that are constantly letting their hands go. So I think is is crazy that Andre Ward let his hands go. Terrence Crawford definitely let his hands go. And then you walk out with these boxers and you don't tell the next guy to let his hands go. This is this is a, a lapse of judgment. And I'm going to tell you another thing. When you're dealing with older people. They're the last to know that things have changed. We not your little niggas. Like the way you talk it, I don't, I don't get what you mean. We're not your little niggas. Like for real, all that big homie stuff, that's for little niggas. Little niggas have big homies. We're not little niggas. So we don't even respect big homies. I know killer doesn't. And for me, I never respected niggas in the streets. That's why I always got the problems I got. Niggas would tell me, Mace, chill. No, chill for what? Who is this nigga? <laughs> That's how I feel listening to this, man. Like, I want to respect you, but I can't. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if I got a little, like, the dudes that raised me, if I was out of pocket, they would tell me I'm out of pocket. They wouldn't let me put them on a crash out mission. They would say, yo, Mace, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Around here... We don't send niggas to do nothing for us. We don't pay niggas to handle our problems. Mm -hmm. You got to put in your own work around here, little man. That's what you were supposed to tell them. You can't go out here and talk crazy and then send me on a mission. Mm -hmm. Nah, this is where the game got messed up. When young niggas started sending old niggas out. And just because this little ignorant nigga got a few dollars. He make all of you that's supposed to be real run after his mission. Mm. This is a problem, Jay Prince. And I'm going to tell you like this. If you're 60 years old mm. and you're trying to be a street nigga, <laughs> you failed. You failed. You failed. You failed. I'm telling you this. And I, I, I'm, I stand. My name is Mace. I stand by this message. Let me explain something to you, bro. May said it exactly like you 60, nigga. You 60. What are you talking about? What are you talking Bro, I lost mad respect for you because I used to have mad respect for you. When you had Shakur with you, when you line um, young boy NBA up, why the fuck you got Shakur with you? And this is why he acting like that. This is exactly why he acting like that. Uh, talking about you got young boy NBA umbrellas and his keys to his car. Young boy NBA told y'all niggas eat a dick. This is what he said. This is what young boy NBA said. Wack 100 was the most disrespectful. Wow, disrespectful. I ain't even gonna repeat this shit Wack 100 said. Mad disrespectful. Drake is beefing with Kendrick Lamar as we speak. I have not heard. This is the first time Drake got into some shit and I hear you say shit to Kendrick Lamar now. Why do you think that you could tell us what we can and cannot say, my nigga? Control your nigga. Control that nigga. Ain't nobody gonna tell a nigga Get the strap and then we gonna sit there and be like, hey, hey, 
I think we we should shut up. Nah, nigga. This ain't, no, this is not 1982, bro. You cannot sit here and tell niggas get distracted and then niggas be quiet. Nobody know that part because I should just be going viral. You bugging. You bugging, James. You bugging, my nigga. And I'm going to leave it at that. I don't know what bet you talking about or all that other slang down. Bet it. Whatever bet you talking about, bet it. I don't know what's bet it. <laughs> <laughs> bet it. <laughs> you want to bet it, bet it? I don't know what to bet it. <laughs>